today I like to um, talk about something called trigger words trigger words and then I like to talk about tattoos in relation to um, trigger words and uh, some bit, some things about your subconscious mind trigger words are uh, certain words embedded in um, human subconscious mind which can evoke emotions corresponding emotions uh, according to the situation or whatever it is there are some trigger words which is common to most people a whole lot of population in this world have certain common trigger words apart from that uh, everybody have some personal trigger words uh, which is very difficult to locate and uh, find out what it is actually but tr these trigger words uh, got embedded in our uh, brains or in subconscious mind due to certain circumstances and uh, certain emotions emotions in, in the sense uh, uh, we can uh, look that into like uh, certain frequencies uh, so the level of emotions I'm talking about as any situations which create a certain emotion and you hear a certain word it could get embedded in your brain in a subconscious mind um, forever and this is very hard to get rid of it or probably you can't get rid of it uh, n not very easy, I must say. And these trigger words could trigger the same emotion, or uh, could be a good emotion, could be bad emotion, or anything in between. Trigger words sometimes can cause health hazards like panic attack and many uh, other related uh, these things so how this trigger words get into your brain is basically like you know imagine a scenario where a woman sitting in a restaurant and suddenly um, um, arrogant arrogant and angry man walk up to her and beat her up and she faints and she falls down uh, and a glass of water falls and breaks with it and uh, you are one of the witness of this incident and uh, you terribly got shocked and uh, got depressed or whatever you know this whatever words this man was speaking some of the commands, words work like commands, could get stored in your subconscious mind and get permanently glued in. And what happens is that even after many years, you hear the same word, maybe your friends say, somebody from a family say, or anybody. This could trigger certain emotion in you. This is very dangerous. There are trigger words that are dangerous. There are trigger words could be, could make you feel pleasant. It could be any kinds of emotion. We don't know what it is. Now let's look a little bit about the subconscious mind. How it um, subconscious mind can uh, mm, can embed sounds, auditory signals, which is in frequencies, certain frequencies. So one thing, then uh, other things are visual images uh, visual images like pictures or any any sort of visuals and there are the two main things then we come the smell the taste and many other things but our visual thing is very strong as well as the auditory 
signals that we receive so both are very strong now uh, let me talk about a little bit about visual mm, the thing about visual signals is that uh, there's one thing which embeds into human subconscious mind very quickly is uh, symbols there are many symbols from ancient time to modern today we have symbols like Apple on the Apple iPhone then we have um, other corporates like Intel Microsoft and so on the, even the cars have uh, symbols like Mercedes or uh, whatever so the symbols and logos are created to impress quickly into the subconscious mind and each symbol uh, when they create the create it is uh, related to a certain meaning and that meaning is again related to certain emotion so you get to know about a product or a, mm, or you recognize certain products because of the symbols mainly we must remember that symbols are very cute quickly it can very quickly embed into your subconscious mind and it's forever the subconscious mind you must understand one thing is that the subconscious mind do not understand human language whether it's English Russian Japanese whatever no it doesn't understand what it understand is emotions and based on that emotions your life occurrences happen to you so basically you're choosing what happens to you because of your emotion and thoughts that's what we call thoughts and it's also uh, important to understand that subconscious mind understand commands some words which is repeated many times that's one thing and other thing certain words can word or words can embed into your subconscious mind very quickly uh, you don't have to rip you don't need any repetition for that it's just that depends on your depth of your emotion now why I'm talking all this uh, these are the things like um, many people most people know about it uh, it's not uh, anything profound but uh, what I want to tell you is about tattoos tattoos are wonderful artwork I appreciate that I like it I myself have few of them I like it but I suggest not to do tattoos the reason is that each time you inscribe a visual symbol or anything, we clearly do not know what that symbols means. Most symbols from the ancient time, we have many symbols from the beginning of human civilization, symbols being used in various. Um, rituals various um, the symbols have been used during, uh, on a daily basis uh, in your life whether it's a, a religious ritual business or, or, or anything anything symbols so that there, you can find symbols in any ancient sites medieval sites medieval locations and even now the latest can see for example that the corporate logos of um, uh, mobile phones or television or uh, any product uh, cars motormobiles and so on all these symbols you can find this because it's a very easy thing to penetrate in subconscious mind and this thing and uh, you must understand that some of the ancient and medieval symbols have a very 
profound meaning and it's related to many things which uh, we may be aware and not aware of it. So when you inscribe a tattoo, we are inscribing a symbol which have a meaning and that meaning have, is related to certain emotions. So emotions in subconscious mind is what make things happen for you, your life, good, bad, accidents, fortunes, whatever. So we don't know how these symbols are going to affect you because it's on your body, you always watch it, you always see it, your friends see it, your family see it, is associated with you all the time. These symbols could act as a trigger imagery in your mind. However, uh, no one knows what are the after effects of that good, bad or dangerous fortune create fortune or species in our species we don't know. I just want to say this. Thank you.